Hey guys, it's Ken here from OK Portugal and today we have an exciting property video for you. Now Mel and Tracy in the UK commissioned me to shoot this property for them because they were stuck back in the UK during lockdown and they couldn't get here in person. Unfortunately, shortly after I shot this video, this property got sold to someone else. So it's no longer on the market, but I did want to share it with the channel just so that I could show you exactly what you can get for the money here in central Portugal. So if you'd like us to do a virtual tour of a property here in Portugal, then have a look in the description just below this video. I'm going to put our email address or you can also get hold of us on social media. Send us a link to the property which you'd like us to do the virtual tour of and we'll give you a quote. Today's property is set in the county of Serta, which is in the Castelo Branco district of central Portugal. Essentially, it's a two bedroom cottage and it's on three quarters of a hectare of land. Now, there's a lot more than first meets the eye. It's got an absolutely beautiful little stream that runs along the bottom of the property. It also has a natural swimming pool and this is fed from a spring. So all year round, it's got fresh water coming through it. You don't even need a filter. It's an absolutely beautiful place and the asking price was 146,000 euros. Now, once again, this property has already been sold. And the reason why we're sharing it with you on this channel is because we wanted to show you what you can get for your money here in central Portugal. Anyway, enough talking and let's go and check this property out. Hi, Mel and Tracy. It's Ken and Gina here and uh, we're off to go and see your property. Um, we should be there in the next hour or so. And it's a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning day. You couldn't ask for better. As you can see, there's a bit of parking out here. There's a beautiful cork oak. There's the front gates and there's space to turn the cars around on the cork oak here, uh, also park in the driveway here, and a bit of space where you can go straight through into the property itself. So there's a very nice little flower bed on this side, and the property itself, where this wall is, this is the boundary and it sort of goes out in this direction, meets up with the road, goes down a little bit in that direction. But we'll go down there in a bit. First of all, Let's have a look at this house. You can see everything is newly painted. You know, the gates, the walls and everything. It's very neat and tidy. New tiles up here, new tiles on the roof. Um, okay, so to enter the garden here, you can get in through this door and you can also get in through these doors on the side here. And uh, across here, we're gonna enter the house now it's got a lovely little porch. Look at this. Little doorbell. An electric meter out the front, so there's mains electricity. And let's enter. Okay, so this is the upstairs of the property. And there used to be, I was told, a kitchen in this corner here, but the kitchen's been taken out and moved into the back there. It's quite a big room. Let me just stand at the back of it. And you can see here that there's the fireplace, there's a lot of, a lot of size in this room. Uh, we've got nice big windows. They're double glazed and they also have shutters that are built in. And so you can open those up like they have here for beautiful ventilation. Um, but also close them off with the shutters if things get cold. There's a lovely wood burner over here. A nice big one. I'm not sure how many kilowatts that is, but I assume that that's going to do a good job of heating this entire room. So let me just stand in the back corner here. And you can see it's a nice big space. Now there's windows here leading outside with beautiful views and also leading onto the outside patio. But before we go there, let's go into the kitchen and have a look. Right, so we have a little landing area and where you can hang up your coats and everything and then we go into the upstairs bedroom. Now the upstairs bedroom is relatively small. As you can see at the moment, there's a double bed on the floor um, and there's some hanging space up here. But I assume that you could probably put a king size bed in here. It would obviously be pressed up a bit more against the wall and you could probably put uh, some cabinets here or something like that. Uh, again, you've got these lovely windows and you can really get a sense of the thickness of the walls here. Um, and the windows look good. It's a lovely color. It matches the white paint and the terracotta tiles nicely. Right, so we're heading ourselves back now. We're going to go into the kitchen. And I've been told that all the appliances and everything 
come with the kitchen that the owners they want to move back to England and they're not interested in taking anything back. So um, you know they don't you know any of their appliances back. So everything stays. Uh, some places in Portugal they might take the washing machine and the cooker and even the even the boiler on the wall. So yeah, so all of that's staying. And yeah, look at this. You got your you got your kitchen sink looking out over this beautiful view of the gardens. Um, fridge freezer, cooker, dishwasher, microwave, really nicely laid out. And on this side here, another beautiful window, a little place to have a cup of tea or coffee in the morning if you don't want to go out into the patio. And let's just have a look at the views outside these windows. Lovely. Okay, so um, just leading off the kitchen, we have this bathroom. And look at this floor. Incredible. It's like lovely slate or something like that. Now, the shower basically just runs straight onto the floor and it's been angled in such a way that it just goes down this big drain over here so it won't wet any of the rest of the house. And it just gives you such a feeling of space instead of having a cubicle. Uh, you've got your toilet and you've got a nice little sink, uh, sink and mirror. There's a bidet as well, which is very European. And then again, huge windows. Um, from this shower window here, there's complete privacy. So, you know, you could just leave those open. All right, so now we're looking back towards the kitchen. And uh, let's go outside onto the patio. So we've got some lovely, some lovely double glazed patio doors here. And um, we actually have some more from the lounge area, but let's get to that in a second. All right, so this is a very big expansive patio area. It's got some shade cloth on the top here which is going to be very important in uh, the summertime. And uh, yeah, it's been done beautifully. Look at the look at the surface. So this kind of wraps around. You've got uh, like an eating entertainment area out there, a little sitting area out here to get out of the sun. And then it heads on back around to where the driveway of the property was. Now I've been told that these steps go up onto this roof and um, that this is a load-bearing roof, so you can actually sit up here. It's like a terraced area. And uh, also that you would get permission to be able to extend another floor up on this part of the property. But not on that side of the property, the one with the apex roof. So you could potentially build another room up here. And as you see from, from up on this terrace, you've got your driveway, you come into the front of the house here, or you can walk straight around and access the patios. So let's go back down quickly. So these are the, the doors that I was talking about. There's two lots of them that open up and they're also double glazed. So there's double glazing throughout, there's electricity and there is mains water. A lot of seating space out here. You could entertain loads of people. It's gonna stand in this corner and get a little bit of this view in here. So now we're going to head on downstairs. The property is uh, it's divided into an upstairs downstairs but there's no internal staircase. Uh, there's one bedroom as you've seen in the upstairs area um, but there's also another room downstairs complete with a beautiful bathroom. So this is the downstairs area here of the house and I just want to mention before we get there that there's the absolutely stunning pool here and it's a natural pool that's fed by a spring. Now this used to be a water tank and uh, basically the, well, the water tank they've turned into a pool and they've painted it up nicely on the inside and all year round 
there's a ton of spring water coming out of here and just filling up this pool. So you don't need to use any chemicals, you don't need to have a filter or anything, you've constantly got fresh water coming in here. And that fresh water flows out of the pool on this side and uh, just irrigates the land. You can see how much water there is here. A little river going down and meeting up to that side. Very, very nice. All right, let's just go and have a look downstairs quickly. So downstairs, the window style is slightly different, but it's still double glazed. Um, and uh, there's the most amazing little bathroom. Look at this. Beautiful bath. You can see some of the original stonework from the building. Lovely cabinetry. And a loo with a view. A loo with an amazing view. So yeah, this is one of my, this is one of the nicest looking bathrooms I've seen in a long time. It's beautiful. Uh, now the bathroom isn't connected to the main room here, but it would be possible to obviously knock a, a doorway through if that was an issue. So along this walkway, there's some steps leading down into the garden. There's another beautiful little patio area here. Brand new roof on it. Just a lovely style. And uh, if you go through here, this is the spare bedroom. But at the moment it's being used as a music studio. So you can see that he's very much into his music equipment. And uh, um, he's basically said the only thing he wants to keep is that guitar. But the rest of this is all going to come with the house. And there's a lot of music equipment here. A lot of big speakers and all sorts of stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, it's coming free with the property. Uh, you, you can have your, well, your very own little music concert with that. And then over here is a room that hasn't quite been completed yet. Um, but uh, yeah, it's being used as storage and you can see all of the old original uh, brickwork. But lots of storage, nice big room. And now you can really see what this building's made out of, lots of granite and different types of stones. And they look to be in really good condition. All right, so now we are going to just orientate ourselves quickly. Um, when we came into the property, these are the gates lead leading into the garden, and that's the other doorway. So what I'm going to do is go back up through here and we're going to go around the perimeter of the property. So the perimeter of the property is this driveway here. And it goes up and meets up with these big cork oak trees. And that is the limit of the property. And it sort of carries on up there and goes down in that direction. So you have this little terrace up here. Beautiful cork oaks. Um, this cork, every couple of years, you can sell it. It's worth quite a bit of money as well. There's quite a few cork oak trees on here, so that could be interesting in a few years. So that's the little kitchen window there. Looking out over this. And uh, here's a tractor. This tractor comes with the property. Uh, it looks like it needs a little bit of TLC. But I mean, you know, it's a Japanese, Japanese engine. Um, who knows? I'm not sure about the condition of it at the moment, but most likely, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen ones that are in worse condition and they are, you know, running perfectly every single day. So if we carry on up here, there's uh, a caravan that's for sale. Sixth birth. Sixth birth caravan, okay. Um, okay, so there's some kind of area here, and I'm not sure what this was. It, this wasn't pointed out when we initially did the tour. But it's a nice little flat concrete standing. Um, maybe you could put a barbecue area in there. Wow, it's a big caravan. Okay. So, um, so there's the kitchen going along here, the sink, the cooker, there's an oven, on this side, there is a heater, 
it's very neat and tidy in here. Uh, it's got skylights, um, blinds on all the windows and curtains, nice comfortable sofas, and these sofas turn out into a bed. In the background there's Gina. Hello Gina. Uh, let's have a look. There's lots of storage. And it's all very neat and tidy in here. This is a very nice caravan. So this is included in the price of the property. Um, here's the bathroom. So you've got your cassette loo and a sink. Uh, mosquito nets in all the windows. That's useful. Uh, and then there's probably a shower in here somewhere. Oh, I believe you use this. You probably put that up on here and you have your shower. So that's quite nice. And then on the back here, that looks like that turns into a bed. Got some more storage. This turns into a bed. So that's quite a bonus. Oh, and it's got a privacy shield as well. So, yeah, it's its own sort of private bedroom. Okay, so let's lead on from the tour here. Now, I just want to point out something at the moment. There's a bit of noise from chainsaws happening, but I assume that that's not something that's going to carry on for very long because it looks like they've just been hired to chop down a couple of trees today. Um, apart from that chainsaw, it's very quiet here. Okay. Ah, okay. That that is a good thing. Okay, yeah. So that chainsaw noise is not going to last long, and it's going to keep you safe from any potential fires. Uh, okay, so heading on this way, there are, um, there's a grass cutter and a trailer, which is quite useful. These grass cutters go for about some, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 euros. And the little mini trailers are about 500 euros, so that's quite useful to have. Um, you can see they've cleared up this terrace here, but this is where the limit is, up to this tree and heading back all the way down to the driveway of the house and heading all the way down there. And then from here, the limit goes across here and into this corner up here. But first of all, let's get down there because I've been told there's something else interesting down there. Now this looks like um, they've had a bit of wild boar in here, which is quite interesting because, you know, it seems so tucked away. But yeah, so there's a bit of wild boar, well, wild boar coming in here. I might be wrong. I mean, I'm not seeing the hoof prints, but you know, the, the javali, the wild boar are all over Portugal. So that's the most likely explanation. Uh, you can see it's very wet here because there is a big well. Now this well over here is the spring or the springs of this well are what feed, they run all the way down here. Oh, look at that. Sorry, there was a frog that just jumped in there. So you can tell that this water is very, very clean if there's aquatic life living in it. Um, but there's a spring that runs all the way down here and basically feeds that swimming pool. So, yeah, amazing. Now this wall over here behind us is the boundary wall and it's in very good condition. Now it leads into this corner where this big cork oak is and that there is the boundary. And then that runs along here and all the way down to the bottom. So, I don't think, I think this is quite marshy and wet at the moment. So I'm gonna walk back in this direction and come back onto that terrace over there. So, what do I think so far? I tell you what, if I had just moved to Portugal and we were shopping for a place, I would have been very, very tempted. This is a lovely, lovely place. Uh, you know, for myself and Gina, for, for two people, um, perfect and you've got space for guests uh, and it's been really well looked after and kept so yeah I really like it okay so looking back here again this is where the kitchen was the rest of the house they've got some beautiful steps going down here and um, this big plinth here of concrete this used to have a swimming pool on it but they basically got rid of the swimming pool and they had a natural pond you know, why use chemicals and have to have a filter and clean the pool when you can just have water going into your pool all year round. 
So, you know, th this could be used for a variety of things. You could have another patio out here. You could put a pool there even. You could build a structure on it, a conservatory or something. Uh, but yeah, so we've just come from that top corner. There's loads of cork oaks in here. You've got some bamboo in this corner. And uh, it heads on here. And now it drops down to another terrace. I just want to have a look at this beautiful pool again. I tell you what, this in summer is exactly what you need. Now I've been told as well, not only is there this much water on the property, there's even more. There's a whole river at the bottom here, or a stream. And this stream then goes down into Lake Cabril, which is just over there. But we'll have a look in a moment using the drone and we can see where all of that is. So let's get down into this terrace and look at some more. Got lovely little flower beds, nice colour coming up. Lots of yuccas. These yuccas are going to turn into nice trees soon and give you some good shade. Right. Oh, there is something else I wanted to point out. Um, although the house is on um, mains electric and um, it's on mains water, it does have a septic tank because there's no um, sort of municipal sewage here. So this is the, the septic tank here where everything gets uh, sort of pumped out from. And uh, I believe there's a bit of a soak away. And if you see there where the grass is quite long, I think that's probably where the nutrient trail of the soak away is. So yeah, it's fertilizing your garden for free. So we are on the sort of main, the main big terrace area here. And uh, you've got some bulrushes over there. They're getting fed permanently by this water. You've got quite a lot of lawn here. Um, it looks like it was freshly cut. I think obviously if you, if you, if you mow it more often, you'll you know, be able to get a really nice sort of green lawn out here. Uh, there's a couple of olive trees dotted around. I believe he says he had seven olive trees. I think seven. Um, a few more cork oaks up against this wall. Uh, lots of beautiful cacti and rosemary, good for the bees. This looks like some kind of a citrus tree that's been planted there. So yeah, like a nice little orchard area. Anyway, let me show you possibly my favorite thing about this property, or one of them. Uh, this is a constantly running river or stream at the bottom of the property here. It's lovely and shaded and I imagine in the in the hottest days of summer when it's 35 degrees coming down here and hearing the noise of the water the humidity in the air and just being in the shade next to this is going to be incredible now this area was quite overgrown and he's working on here at the moment to clear it all off you can see he's got his chainsaw out so he's been clearing it all nicely here let's go down and have a look So this is the limit of the property here. The river is the limit. Now this here isn't a drain. This is a spring. It's from the river, from the mountain up there, and it's all coming down. You can see there's a lot of force in it. It's quite a nice deep little rock pool in here. You could have a little, a little dip. And then out here it flows all the way across. He's built beautiful little uh, dams so that you can make the water level higher. But yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And all this cascading water. Yeah, this has got to be one of my favorite parts. Living in Portugal for the last uh, year and a half and going through a really hot summer, you really realize just how important it is to have lots of water around you. And here it gets a bit quieter, there's not much noise from the water, but look at this. I mean, you could just, you could build that up about half a meter and you could dam a whole bunch of water in here and just have that as a little swimming pool for the summertime. Maybe put a chair in there and sit with your feet in the water. So this goes back, this, obviously the river is the boundary. It would be very difficult for the neighboring property or the neighboring land to come and use this river because um, obviously it's all blocked off. 
So it's quite private for you. And yeah, it flows into this corner. So the limit of the property is just behind all of this weed here, which is clearing. And um, let me just get somewhere where you can see. It goes up to where these cork oak trees are and then up in a straight line all the way up to the top of the property where we were, where the well is. And now from this corner we look back and we see the house, we see the river, this whole terrace, all the olive trees. Very, very special. Also, if you look around here, you're not overlooked by anyone. It's very private here. I'm standing here looking at these views and you can't see anything. Now down there I've been told there's Lake Cabril and that's where this water goes. And it looks like a fantastic place to go swimming or fishing or it looks amazing. Now this here is a plant that um <laughs> yes there's someone uh says yes <laughs> there, there, uh, there's a guy uh who's just uh giving me a thumbs up there i think it's one of the guys who was chopping the wood so okay i was saying that this plant here is um this plant here is something that only grows where there's water all year round so you can tell that this is going to be very wet okay and there's springs underneath here now I'm just going to work my way around to um, another little stream running over here. You definitely won't be having water problems on this farm. Okay, so this, this is what's running out of the natural swimming pool. So the natural pool up here, all the water comes through. And there's a little river coming through here, then it goes underground, comes out here and feeds its way all along and meets up with that other little stream over there. Filters its way through this land here, you can see there's bulrushes, uh, all sorts of things that are naturally filtering it and keeping it nice and clean. So absolutely lovely thing to have. And then if we carry on in this direction towards this boundary, there is... Um, I believe uh, a water mine. So if you clear all of this back, there's a long opening in the stones that goes right into the mountain and water comes out of it, fresh mountain spring water. And you can see it all coming through here, coming out of here, pooling up in this area, running through here. It's absolutely splendid. I and mean, this is such a nice looking property. All right, so to orientate ourselves with the building, north is in that direction, south is behind us, west is over there, east is over here. So the sun comes up and works its way across. Now on the other side here, you have terraces, long open ones. So the whole year round, you're gonna have sun on those terraces.
thanks for watching. All the best. Ciao. Ciao.